Hello, and welcome back to Markers and Monsters. As always, I'm your host, Colin, and I hope everyone's October is going pretty great. I'm happy to be joining you today and talking about a classic science fiction horror film, and that is, of course, the 1958 film, The Blob. Kind of a personal favorite of mine. Uh, I, I I just love The Blob. It's... Uh, it's just a great, fun, campy movie. It perfectly captures that like 1950s sci-fi nostalgia. It's in color, which is great. And it was shot in Pennsylvania. Uh, granted, the other side of the state from where I am, but still, Pennsylvania represent. If you've never seen the film or don't know anything about The Blob, uh, as I said, it's a 1958 film, independently produced, and went on to be a big hit, really. Uh, the film concerns a group of teenagers who uh, encounter the blob, a red ball of ooze that comes out of a meteorite and begins to devour and dissolve anything that it uh, touches. It starts off with a hobo and then moves on to doctors, nurses, all the while these teens are trying desperately, desperately to get the adults and the people in charge to believe them, get the police to do anything. But as we know... Teens, man, they can't be trusted. So the cops initially do nothing and the blob is allowed to run rampant. And it's kind of up to the teenagers, led, of course, by Steve McQueen in his first big starring breakout role to uh, stop this. Uh, it's got some great set pieces, especially towards the end when the blob attacks a bunch of kids, teenagers, watching Daughter of Horror, of all things, at the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Moving then to the Downington Diner, which is just down the road a bit. Uh, both of these places still exist, and you can go to them. The Colonial Theater in, in Phoenixville, they actually have a blob fest every year with the annual, you know, run out screaming away from the blob. And Chef's Diner in uh, Downington, Pennsylvania is also restored. I guess they run some kind of, uh, you can go in the basement, take pictures. It's the same basement in the film where... Steve McQueen and his girlfriend and some other folks get uh, holed up at the end as the blob covers this diner in a terrifying sequence. <clears throat> really, really great. One of the reasons I love the blob so much is, uh, in addition to it being just a fun, great film, it's kind of the legacy it has. Um, blobby alien creatures, I don't feel that they were really much of a thing before the blob came out. <clears throat> the i you know this idea of the the enemy the alien is just goop before 1958 i don't know if i'd ever seen anything quite like that before and then afterwards yeah it's kind of everywhere they of course did a campy sequel in the 70s which was directed by larry hagman jr of dallas fame uh, actually directed beware the blob sometimes called Son of the Blob, I believe. Uh, they did a remake in the uh, 80s, which was very uh, like practical effects and very gross and disturbing in the way the blob is devouring people. Also really good in, in its own way. It loses some of the charm and the camp appeal of the original blob and replaces it with like gross out gore and horrible uh, deaths and everything. So if you're, if you're a gore fan, a special effects fan, worth a watch you've got of course the goosebump book the blob that ate everyone that was one of the later books in the series but still uh all kind of blob stuff would appear on tv shows and little movies and uh i, I consider the blob almost in the same way i consider frankenstein dracula and the wolfman uh the quote-unquote classic monsters uh there's something timeless about the blob something that once you you know, see it or think about it or, or whatever. It just kind of permeates your monster consciousness. Uh, maybe your monster subconsciousness, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know, but it, it kind of fits in there, right? Uh, to me, at any rate, it does. If you guys have different opinions, please, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Uh, as you can see in the drawing here, I'm uh, doing kind of a take on the famous scene at the end with the uh, Downington Diner there being covered up by the blob and putting people running and screaming in front. I love running, screaming people. Uh, it's great. Makes it makes any drawing just a little bit better, I think. Um, and the blob is definitely that kind of thing. If you saw this sucker, this big red mass 
of devouring, I don't know, whatever it is, stomach enzymes or whatever the heck the blob is, you'd be running and panicking too. I wanted to add in, and I don't normally do this, but I wanted to add in the blob uh, logo, that, that particular font up at the top. I felt it would fit really well. And I think it's just a cool looking, well-designed little um, logo and drawing it out and getting the colors right, that kind of yellow fade, I think really makes this drawing jump out. Uh, as you could see, I started in doing some of the inking with the people just to get them out of the way first, added in some of the blob stuff, that kind of deep red. Uh, the blob gets redder the more people it eats, so by the end it's kind of this like scarlety crimson color, and I think that's also a neat touch. <clears throat> One of the stories that, that I love to tell, and I'm sure if you've known me for a while you know this tale, but uh, through the monster bashes and other conventions... Um, I thankfully was able to meet uh, Wes Shank, the caretaker of the Blob Silicone. Wes was a prop collector uh, for classic movies, but specialized in, in the Blob. That was that was kind of the big thing. And uh, I was very, very fortunate to become friends with him and his lovely wife, Judy. And uh, we'd often chat at, at conventions and such like that. Uh, Wes actually sent me his book talking about the blob uh, sign through the mail, which was lovely. And uh, one day at Monster Bash, he actually let me touch it. Yes, the blob silicone, the prop they used, uh, he would store in a bucket and have. And I mean, it's silicone. It'll last for forever, basically. But uh, he said he didn't do it for a lot of people. Um, but he's like, yeah, you know. Feel free, stick your hand in there. So he took the lid off, the uh, plexiglass lid, and let me let me stick my hand in and touch the blob. And I got to tell you, there was that briefest of moments where I'm like, is this, is this thing going to eat my hand? But thankfully it didn't. It was very squishy, uh, that's for sure. Um, so very neat stuff. Uh, the creation of the blob, the making of, is also very interesting. How they got a lot of these shots of it being kind of pushed under doors and stuff, and they'd... Um, make these very interesting forced perspective um, placards and stuff like that. And, and you know, kind of uh, rather than just getting an actual door, it was this weird, like, flat thing. They push the blob silicone through. Uh, very neat and very cool uh, for a great flick. The other story I like to tell is uh, a few years back for a Halloween party at the uh, Kung Fu school where I attend um, for the kids party. Uh, I picked the movie and I showed this whole group of kids, like 20 or 30 kids, the blob. So they had a blast with it, like the theme song. Uh, it's a little slow in parts for some of the younger kids, but all the blob eating people scenes, man, those kids went nuts over them. So let's get these stars dotted in here. Let's get uh, the the white put on the blob just to kind of make it pop, make it look glossy, which is what we want to do is it's shiny. And uh, we'll get it signed up here. And let's take a look at the scan. All right. Another fun one, you guys. I went with that weird Dutch angle just to kind of increase the chaos in the drawing that you can see. And uh, I got to tell you, I had a blast talking about this with you guys today. Um, the Blob's just a great flick, great monster. I love that the movie was independently produced and through Pennsylvania, represent. Uh, you know I love that. So, yeah, that's it. Hey, guys, like I said before, I hope your Octobers are all going smashingly. This is the spookiest time of year, and I love to be celebrating with you guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please join me on the next one. Uh, we'll have a video out next Friday for you. Something good. Maybe some other stuff in the meantime. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, stick with it. And hey, from Colin and Markers of Monsters, you all have a wonderful and safe October. We'll see you in the next one. Good night. Beware of the blob. It creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor. Right through the door and all around the wall. A splotch, a blotch, be careful of the blob.